Well, my experience with the University of Hawaii Hilo goes way back to 1948. That's where uh, the school was situated at Hilo Boarding School. There were several of us who were former Hilo High School Viking basketball team players. So Bunny Brown was the coach and so he corralled us and he asked us to sign up as students. Well, this was the forerunner to the Vulcans. Then the next time I was involved with the University of Hawaii Hilo, I was active then in the Hawaii Island and Japanese Chamber of Commerce. And they were where all of us we were back up having the University of Hawaii becoming a four-year school. But it's come a long ways, and uh, I, I see a lot of good coming out of that university. And well, I'm glad I was able to be a part of that growth and be supportive of the school system there. Yeah. So I was one of those guys that played around in high school, never paid much attention to academics. I decided, hey, maybe I can get into engineering. And back then it was called engineering management, where you learn business as well as engineering. Luckily at that time, UH Hilo had a pre-engineering program. And so I signed up for these courses. So when I signed up that first, it was five of us in the class. And by the time we went to the next semester, I was the only one in the class. So I'll tell you, if it wasn't for UH Hilo, um, having those courses, I probably would have never been accepted into the College of Engineering. Because I had at that point been able to prove myself as being worthy of, you know, handling the academics. So, you know, I was able to transfer to Manoa in the College of Engineering. And by then I had completed all my two year, well actually two and a half year program in the engineering curriculum. I would say that, you know, I've been on the National Council of Engineering and Surveying Examiners for Engineers and Surveyors. I've been doing this for over 20 years practically. And what I find is that we UH graduates in engineering can compete with all these universities and institutes across the, the country. And we hold our own. So we have a top-notch engineering school here at Manoa. And the way I look at it, hey, I got my start from UH Hilo. I started with Hawaii Community College, and then I was finally accepted into UH Hilo. <laughs> so I guess a lot of the background with the grades probably was from my dad's side. <laughs> <laughs> I actually started off in nursing, and I changed my major to business, and a lot of that was just conversations that I've had with my sister and it actually helped because she took the classes before me. I got my four-year degree in two years. It's a so blur. It's a blur to me. <laughs> <laughs> and so just the relationships I built, um, even to this day, I still here and there as I see them. Um, I'm glad they still recognize me. They all still look the same and it, it's great to be able to still be able to reach out to your professors that you had at, at UH Hilo. And it's a lifelong, I think, friendship and bond that continues through today. I attended the University of Hawaii at Hilo when I graduated high school. And I was a liberal arts major because I had no clue what I wanted to do. But um, in case I stayed here for a year and then I went to Honolulu Community College for another year. That one I took up engineering technology. It was good. The teachers there at the community college, they, they teach you in a different way. It's not, you know, at the university level, it's more um, lectures. At the community college, they're, they're hand-holding. They hold your hand and get you through. So it was kind of awesome. I learned a lot there for that short period of time. Then I went back to Hilo because Honolulu life was not for me. <laughs> and I went into business, so I later graduated with a bachelor's in business administration. Well, they kept talking about that distance learning thing, the Scheidler 
when Scheidler became Scheidler and I, I signed up so I'm going through the program now. Not too much sleep, a lot of studying, <laughs> still trying to keep up with my work but yeah this is a very good, it's a very awesome program. Um, over here we have a wonderful college, a university and um, my mother-in-law, a very sweet person, she um, she worked there as a clerk for I, I guess about 30 years or so, long time. Anyway, she retired and um, she always was very proud of, of where she was working. To give something in her honor, it was important to us, but um, it, it is really nice to um, be able to give something back to the community, to um, students in the uh, field of engineering or um, school of business. There was a lot of thought that needed to go into what types of students we'd like to provide the scholarship to. And mom, you provided a lot of input into that because we didn't want to make it too hard for local people to obtain the scholarship. I think in the beginning we were thinking, make it a higher GPA because if they're really wanting to go to school, they're gonna do well. And I think mom, mom looked at all of us like, uh, you guys didn't get 4.0. <laughs> you know, so she wanted to make it obtainable, I believe, right? And it's not a freshman scholarship either. Mm -hmm. for a because, yeah, there are a lot of freshman scholarships, not too much for the sophomores. And, when people actually decide what they want to be. <laughs> what does being alumni of the University of Hawaii at Hilo mean to me? I would say not only did I attend and graduate there, um, but I look at now as um, we serve with the alumni and it's great to be a part of a university system that I'm still a part of after graduating. The university says community. It always brings everybody together. I mean, Manoa, the community colleges. Well, UHC. I have to go along with that too. Thank you. You're welcome. Saying <laughs> <laughs> more, more better together. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know what the word would be, but it feels good that you have that access yeah. to the university. Welcoming. You know, it's, I think it's a wonderful relationship that you and folks have developed, you know, it's your own personality that developed that. And you weren't the top student or what, but, you know, hey, you guys belong. How's that? Belong. I belong. Yeah. yeah. It's a sense of belonging. Yeah. Yeah. Good feeling. Mm -hmm. You guys serving now on the alumni board of directors or whatever it is. That's something you want to give back. Mm -hmm. And you belong, you feel comfortable, don't comfortable, don't you? Yeah. I would advise people to come to the University of Hawaii at Hilo because you come and you feel that sense of community. You have programs set up to help you succeed. You're not on your own. And I think that's the a major component in going to college is when you can feel a part of something and not be alone.